I am in the process of researching a video on the history of World of Warcraft. I went to the Metacritic page to see the reception of the reviewers at the time. And I found out something way cooler than all that stuff. The user review section. That's right, we're gonna see the moldiest, the funniest, the craziest reviews about World of Warcraft ever made. World of Warcraft PC release date November 23, 2004, right on the Christmas season. There you go, negative reviews. Here we go with our first one. This is a great example on how to make a great game a garbage. Cancel culture, making orcs a real race. I don't want to live in a world of no free speech. This is what they do to that game. Just die already, wow and blizzard. You do not deserve to last any longer, your time is gone. This is the saddest part, man. I don't even disagree with this guy, but you can tell, you can tell, this guy is probably not very pleasant to be around. Okay, look at this one. This one is a banger. This is the review that made me start this entire video, that gave me the idea. <laughs> I gotta try to do it in a commercial voice. Do you want your child to learn about such diverse topics as white supremacy, hard drug use, racism, cyberbullying, etc.? Well, sign them up for WOW! I played the game since vanilla and the game has gotten more and more toxic, in large part because Blizzard refuses to moderate the chat channels. It is not fun for adults to be subjected into this mess. Do you really want your child learning about races? <laughs> if you don't want your kid, if you think your kid should not be talking about those topics, why do you have him hanging out with adults in a video game? Like that is just, that doesn't make the game bad. You're just a bad parent. From guild leaders who are telling junior or juniorette. Juniorette, that's a word now. We live in the in the wrong timeline. That these things are cool. Do you want them to be grow up thinking cyberbullying is cool? Because so and so with all the gear is an awesome dude and thinks trolling is just the best thing in the world. <laughs> This is what WoW has become, and Blizzard, Frat Boys Incorporated, takes no responsibility to protect your child from these creeps. No, because protecting your child is your goddamn job as a father. Many of us has been asking for moderators for years now, but Blizzard is too cheap to spend the money. They have literally made billions of dollars from their customers, but refuse to spend a single cent into making the game a safe and fun environment for players of all ages. Yes, children play our game, Blizzard. Stop hiding behind the rating to justify your gross corporate irresponsibility and greed. Okay, here's the thing, like uh, we all talk about GMs and Blizzard being too cheap on moderating the game for many other reasons. If you think this game is inappropriate for kids, and they play it, and you're their parent, you're a bad parent. I don't care, I got zero sympathy for you. Also, 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 they cannot buy a game if they are too young for it. So you say they are hiding behind the rating, no. If a game store has a game that is rated for like 18 plus, and your kid gets a hand in this game, it means that the parent bought it. So either you think it's okay, or you are such a wimp that your child decides what is okay for him and not you that the parent. I got zero sympathy for that. I hope this is a troll comment. I don't know if it's a troll comment, honestly. Like, it is worded in such a way that I, I don't think it is. World of Warcraft was one of the greatest games of its time, but the problem with MMORPGs is they are much like bars. You can go to a brand new bar and the opening is great. The interior is great. The music, aka content, is great. If you don't continue to have friends go to the joint, then there is less and less reason to return. New expansions are like grand reopenings, drawing players back, but every time you hit that cycle, you wonder why you are playing. Then you have to start wondering what is missing and why you or your friends will not stay. The biggest problem is repetitiveness and it occurs with all games of the genre. Replayability is reduced 
in theme park style games, that is true. At some point grinding and hack and slash combat become boring because it causes players to lose interest. Another problem is the immersion. If the player doesn't begin to feel that the character is important to the world and those around them, the player never becomes hooked. Immersion is successful when the character makes an impact in the world and those around him. As a comparison, Star Wars Galaxies, an often hot debated topic of the past and thus yours, the economy is mostly player driven and the equipment constructed could be yours after having often having unique masterpieces. World of Warcraft misses in this and its theme park progression and car cartoony characters and co- I mean you, you are free to not like a, a graphical style but I, I, I struggle to see how it has to do with anything. Finally it's about the community. If the game appeals to young teenagers who recently just got done playing Wizard 101 or Club Penguin oh my god, and have moved to something bigger, it will have a huge community. Problem is many of the teenagers of these games have lost all etiquette. Kids this day, man. They don't get off my lawn. And it shows with the constant duel requests. So dueling is, is bad. So somebody's like, hey man, wanna duel? And this guy is like, God damn it, where's your etiquette, young man? Nature of chat and other losses of social behavior. Thus WoW is now the game for early post-pubescent children. Adults I know that still play WoW do so of the same action as drinking the same old beer and not moving on to fine wine or champagne. Oh, oh, sorry, I got a fart for me to smell. This what the hell is this dude? 2014, okay, that's probably not a troll either. Like, this is like way too elaborate of a troll. Okay, this one is interesting here. This is from 2020. This is before the lawsuit. And this guy in 2020, Blizzard is not a company you should support. If you know everything going on that they do and still willingly support them, you should reevaluate yourself. Wow, conspiracy underwear here. This guy is a Blizzard employee that knew. Okay, okay, Big Bear. You know this is serious because this guy is called Big Bear. You don't see uh, any random casual reviewer called Big Bear. This is like a professional suit and tie reviewer. World of Warcraft is an elitist field douchebag fest of a game loved only by those sad, sad individuals who have spent so much time in the game they refuse to let go or accept any form of criticism. Their beloved, wow, no matter how bad it gets. Good, a huge and often vibrant and diverse world with lots of different options, leveling can be quite fun for a while. Bad, pretty much every server is filled with the type of douchebags I described above. An example, somebody in the general chat is looking for a player to join a party, but then specifies exactly what stats they must have and that they must have great gear. Seriously, this actually happens. Oh my god, people having requirements for a group? <gasps> the injustice. There are actually people as sad as this. It's like, where the hell is the fun in that? Yeah, where the hell? Why won't they wanna wipe in their groups? Like, how? what, what is fun? Where's my fun? The graphics are far too cartoony, most armor looks like crap and you will likely be wearing pieces from different sets which seldom look good together. Homie, you made this post in 2014, Transmog was already in the game. What? WoW is not and never has been a great game. If you can deal with it or ignore most of the other players, it is just okay. Average at best, but not really worth the cash. Also got to laugh at the got to laugh at the review that stated by far one of the best PC games of all time. LOL. I assume the person was joking or smoking crack at the time. That escalated quickly. Not only is not even in the top 100 best PC games of all time, it is not even the best MMO. Damn, that's an opinion. Honestly, guys. We got, what, three reviews now that complained about the graphical style of the game? I never minded WoW's graphical style. First of all, they designed that graphical style to look good on low settings because they wanted to make it so any computer could run it, which was very, very smart. Like, even in 2004, if you had a computer in your house, there was a very decent chance that you could run WoW in that computer. And that's why they are so massive and successful to this day. But aside from that, like, it is iconic. I get it, it is cartoony, it is childish, 
but homie, you're playing a video game, people are gonna make fun of you no matter what you do, okay? Why does everything have to be like gruesome and dark and, and low color palettes and stuff? I know, like, I get it, you, there is such a thing as going too cartoony, I think Fortnite is too cartoony for its own good. Okay, they are appealing to a different demographic, so they are fine, but I don't like Fortnite's graphical style. Let's imagine like a spectrum, you got like the most cartoony and super hyper realistic stuff. Fortnite is like a, like a 10 in cartoony, I don't know, Crisis 3 would be like a 0. I say World of Warcraft is like a 6 or a 7, and I'm okay with that. Wow is dead. Money, 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 money. I'm gonna skip over the rest of the money, 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 but I think you get a point. The most destructive game of all time. Recommending this game? That is like inviting your friends and family to smoke crack. It is not addictive in a fun and happy way. It is the beginning of the end of your pathetic, wasted life. This guy is a humanitarian. This guy wants to keep people away from harm. This guy believes in helping people. Oh my god, look at this. I played the F. Thank you for censoring this for YouTube, by the way. Out of this game for like a year. And what do I have to show for it? Nothing. The game is a complete waste of time. It does everything in its power to convince you that it is not a waste of time. But it is. This game is like the Matrix, your real life is somewhat boring and you know you're plugging into a fake world, but you do it anyway. I am glad I grew out of it, it becomes a full time job after a while. You do jobs in the game over and over and over again to improve your character. I will go ahead and give the game a 4 because I did enjoy my fake life while it lasted. And when I broke my foot and couldn't put weight on it for 2 months, this game was a godsend. In real life I was a cripple, but in this game I was a powerful warlock or rogue. Well, he is right, unfortunately. Yes, he is right. Okay guys, I just thought it would be funny to check out what the community had to say. This is... A lot of molding. I don't know, we should check out the positive reviews someday and see what the, the shields, you know, the have to say about it. But anyways guys, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell for we got a lot more coming. Join my goddamn Discord, I'm gonna put it in the pinned comments. And also I am taking freelance editing work. I am a freelance editor, you need a cinematic masterpiece to be made, you call the right man, and that's me, hang me up. Okay, bye!